The strange white substance began falling shortly after midnight and continues to fall throughout the region. Some areas are reporting accumulations as high as two inches, making travel by foot difficult, if not impossible. Officials are urging everyone to stay indoors until they're able to determine what all the white stuff is. Where's Johnny? We have to go back for Johnny! Take a 10 minute bathroom slash snack break. When we get back, we'll be watching Hans Hatzenberger's classic, The Fiend, which is totally out of print. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. We now go to Nancy Tong, reporting live from a popular intersection at the heart of the devastation. We have determined that the falling white substance is snow. As you can see at the intersection behind me, traffic is at a standstill. This is the case at intersections throughout the entire city. This just in, it has been determined that zombies are attacking the city. City officials are urging all citizens to stay even further indoors and not to open your doors for them, even if they look cold. We now go live to Dr. Grant Jameson at the University Medical Center to shed some light on this new development. Dr. Jameson, what have you been able to determine about the situation? The falling white substance is indeed snow. Yes, doctor, but what about the zombies? Oh, right. I'll get on that. I don't understand. I thought zombies only came out at night. That's stupid. Dawn of the Dead? That wasn't day, that was more dawn. Day of the Dead, then. Interjection. That was set underground. Well, they'd yeah. still know what time it was. I can't believe it's snowing. <laughs> Is it zombies? No, it's just some guy. State your name, stranger. It's Ellipsis. Look, my parents were hippies, okay? Just, just call me Eli. Thanks for letting me in. You didn't look like a zombie. That's true. But you can never be certain, can you? zombies we're a movie club not a ragtag bunch of misfit heroes yeah but we've all seen zombie films how would roberto falangini artfully dispose of the undead uh, necktie two. i think it has something to do with an amulet i i heard you have to kick them in the nuts that movie's still in pre-production where did you hear about it <laughs> you idiots those are just movies this is real now, the zombies obviously chose a snow day to attack because somehow they know that's when we're the most vulnerable. So it's the snow we have to defeat. What if we have to repopulate the earth? Too bad we don't know any girls. What is the opposite of snow?
Well, that's one way to do it. Now, how do we stop the snow? Wait! I've got it! It's the reporters! They're controlling the weather because nothing else is happening today. <laughs> Still, I think it is a good idea to get to the television station. We've got to get on the air and warn people. Tell them how to fight the zombies. Are you crazy? We can't go out there. We'll be killed. Maybe. But we've got to try. So, why do you keep a shovel by the window, anyway? I have a fear of zombies. All right, boys. Let's do this. this. Stop falling, and it no longer has power over you. You've got to get out there and kill as many zombies as you can. Just grab a bat, a shovel, anything you can find, and just beat their heads in. They're scary, but they're really not that hard to kill.
Hans Hatzenberger. Yeah, I could eat. <laughs> it's zombies, all right. Definitely zombies. <laughs> 